In these problems, we're looking at isometric and orthographic representations, or projections, they call them, when they wanted to use fancy words. Orthographic projections is looking at something either straight down from the top or straight on from a side, and it really only shows one face of something. So if you were looking at a building from the top, you'd see its roof. If you were looking at a stack of blocks, which is what we have here, from the top, you'd see something like this. And you can see they've labeled this the front, the right, the back, and the left. That's orth an orthographic projection. An isometric drawing or representation or projection is one where they kind of put it in this 3D with perspective. Usually they tilt it a little bit so you can have some view, a three-quarters angle, um, so you can get a sense of what it looks like in three dimensions. The trick with these problems is to decide which of these isometric representations matches with this orthographic. And the trick here is just to keep track of where the front, the right, the left, and the back are, and then to know that these numbers represent the number of blocks. Right away what you can see is at the front you have one tower of four blocks and one with no blocks at all. And if I look down here, the front is kind of going in this direction, and here's the right. Okay, So here we've got one, two, three, four, and none, so that matches up. Here, here's the front, there's the right. We've got four and none, so A or B are definitely in the running. But here, on the front, you've got one tower of four, but a tower of two. And in our orthographic drawing, there's not a two there. So it looks like C is out. I'll just cross that off our list here. Now the next two back, the middle two, it's going to be four and three. So if, starting from the front, I go back one, I would get four and three. That definitely looks like it matches. Four and three, that's the same in B. And it looks like the difference between A and B is that I've got two here and one here. Again, if we look, and this is on the right side at the back, so if we look at the right side on the back, we've got two blocks. Well, that's it. We can't actually see this. It's not available to us in these drawings, so there's no way of checking that. Looks like it might be A, and certainly wouldn't be B or C. So I'd go with A on this one. Let's try one more of these. So here's our orthographic drawing. In the front we've got three and none to start off with. Let's, let's look at our answer choices and see if we can do that. So here's the front, there's the right, three and none, that, that looks good. Three and two, that's out. This one's got three and none, so C is possibly in. Let's go back one more row. We've got two and two. So in this row, right here, two and two, that looks right. Okay, B, we decided it was out already. And C, two and, well, it doesn't look like there's anything back there. And if there were two back there, we would be able to see at least a little bit of that top. So it looks like this is not correct. Now A, let's just check because none of these is one of our choices. C's out. A, in the back row, we have three and one. So here we have three and then, well, we can't really see. One could be hiding down there. So A looks like the correct answer. And that's a little bit of work with isometric and orthographic projections. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions off-campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thank you.